Tell us about Mason. He's the oldest of four boys, um, obsessed with hockey, so kind, the most gentle kid I know, biggest heart. Um, February, March, he started getting sick more often. Um, kind of got like, he got strepped. He had a earache. Um, we just took him to the walk-in and she's like, his ear looks fine, but his heart is accelerated. He might want to go to the ER, kind of check, keep an eye on it because it's it's accelerated. I, don't, I can't give you medicine for possibly like an inner earache, even though I don't see anything because it would increase his heart even more. And then that Monday, he just happened to have his yearly checkup um, with his pediatrician. And so we mentioned it to him and she's like, well, he does look pale and it's kind of signs of maybe being anemic. So let's just do some blood work. I bet it's just low iron and it'll be good. And it was the following Monday. Um, we got, she called and she's like, everything's out of whack. We don't know what it is right now, but something's definitely going on and it's not anemic. My sister is an ER nurse and she's like, just take them to the ER. They can repeat all the labs and they'll get you answers, you know, instead of waiting for days. We went and uh, we got there around six that night and at 1 a.m. on April 27th, um, he was diagnosed with leukemia. Being a firefighter, the fire community really rallied around us. Uh, him playing hockey, the outpouring from them has been amazing. We've had teams from the east coast of Florida that we have no idea who they are reach out to us and sending us cards and stuff and, and telling them that you know they're supporting him. And during his first couple of weeks in there, Mason asked me, he goes, Daddy, what, what do people do that don't have a fire family or don't have a hockey family? And I said, you know, they're probably alone. And <laughs> in the hospital, Mason says, you know what? Well, when I beat this, I'm gonna help those people. I'm gonna help those kids, I'm gonna help those families. That's, that's Mason. <laughs> After hearing this story, Mikhail Sergachev, Mason's favorite player, surprised him with a visit, and today he and his family will never forget. Hey, Mason. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> nice to meet you. What's up, guys? Are you guys, uh... Want to come outside and play some uh, street hockey? Yeah. Mason? Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> so w what are the teams you decide? Uh, me versus everybody else. I don't know. Oh, it's just, OK. So Mason was by himself, scoring goals, dangling guys. But then, you know, he got a little bit tired, obviously. Like, can't play by yourself. It's, it's a team sport. So uh, I teamed up with him, and we uh, destroyed his brothers. So it was, it was great. It was beautiful. I, I mean, really just amazing to see, you know, the, the boys, boys the smile. all of them. Just the biggest smiles through the whole thing and just having fun doing stuff that they love. No. Oh. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. Yeah, welcome to the team. <laughs> so you, buddy. I don't know what to think. <laughs> the job's amazing. You know, moments like this really let us know that there's still an end in sight, you know, and there's normalcy to be had, happiness to be found. So stuff like this really helps. Definitely helps. It's amazing. The journey. It was a lot of fun for me, and uh, I'm glad that I came and, you know, met, met their family and uh, Mason. It was, it was a great experience, and uh, I'm glad I could make somebody's day like that.